Hey guys, Drew here, back with another video. When the Growls lose in overtime to the Utah Grizzlies, the worst team in the ECHL, Utah Grizzlies. Yes, the worst team in the ECHL. Absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. That was the game the Growlers 100% should have won. I don't even know how we forced overtime in that game. Um... Growls had a two-man advantage in that overtime to four and three. Um, watching the broadcast, singing that it would be, it would be, we'd score eventually. No sir. Um, but I wasn't at this game, and um, but two hundred fans were. Um, well, around that at least, it was a giant snowstorm in Newfoundland, and um, and there was only about two hundred fans there. Um, and I didn't go. Um, the way where I live, it's like a like a 20 minute drive from from Mary Brown Center so the only way we, we'd be driving is if we um fall off the road or something like that so we didn't we didn't go but uh we'll be there tonight at the Growlers game so um the goal for the Growlers um last night goes the giant iconic he gets his fifth of the season the all-star uh Chris Ballard says and also a quote from Ballard after that uh, first goal listen to this crowd and then Nolan Dillingham getting his first goal in the Mary Brown Center he gets his fifth of the season, pretty good from Dilly to get on on the board. Two defensemen actually to score. Although the third goal goes to Grant Crookshank. Guess who? Um, he gets his fourteenth of the season. So now, um, I'm gonna say the standings, and then I'll talk a little bit about the game. So, Warser beat Tarvier last night, and Norfolk lost to Indy last night. So. There is a four-way tie for second in the, the North Division. Um, Adirondacks at the top, um, obviously. But honestly, this game is really important to the Growlers. And you're playing a really bad team like Utah. You just got to win this game. Um, so basically, if the Growlers are the only team that wins tonight, we'll be guaranteed second in the North. Not at the end of the season, but by the by tomorrow at least. But if we're the only team to lose, we're not going to be in a playoff spot. So this is a, a little bit rough, but we're going to see what happens. Um, I feel like we can pull this off. Um, last night there were no fans, which I feel like is the main factor why they lost. Um, and now today I feel like there's going to be a boatload of fans since there was no one last night, and there's been a lot of people waiting to go to see a Growlers game. And um, it's finally given their opportunity to do that. So um, we may see a lot of fans in the stands for tonight's game. So I'll be there. Um, I'm sure many other people will. And um, the goaltender for Utah last night was Dante Genuzzi. Um, Pretty unique name. I've never heard that name before. But um, I was listening on the broadcast and like every single save he made was like a highlight reel save. And um. Utah's backup, I believe, is either Garrett Metcalf or uh, Will Cranley. They'll probably be in net tonight. Um, and Slava Pex uh, may be in net for the Growlers. So we'll see what happens with Pex and um, the Growlers as they take on the Utah Grizzlies tonight. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, like, see if you can subscribe. I really liked it. Um, we're on the road to 200 subscribers. Hopefully, we get hit soon. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Um, subscribe down below. That's going to be for today's video, guys, and I will talk to you all again in the next video. Go Growlers, guys.